thunderstorm going on, and suddenly what, blue light, you know, and rain fell. What? Is there a lot of turbulence too? And we went up like this. It is an eerie and chilling echo in current politics. Um, during the, the last presidential campaign, we heard the chant, uh, uh, lock her up, meaning Hillary Clinton. Now we're hearing the, uh, the chant, send her back, uh, meaning the uh, four uh, progressive, uh, brand new uh, uh, co uh, female co congressional representatives. During our time, it was lock up the Japs. We were Japs, that, that despicable uh, epithet. And that's what put us in behind these barbed wire fences. What's happening today, though, is a new low, because we as children were never torn away from our parents. What's happening on the southern border is this, this incredible thing, this cruel thing of tearing children, sometimes infants, away from their parents and putting them in cages. And really to underscore, uh, underscore the evil, many of them are being scattered in the far reaches of the country rather than keeping them on the border. Uh, uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, New Jersey. And when the courts order the, the government to bring them together, they are so incompetent that they can't find the children or they can't find the parents or may, some, some may have been deported already. I mean, it's this kind of horror that's happening now, horror and infamy that's very real today. Well, we're talking about the 50th anniversary. This year is very significant because uh, I was in New York for the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall uh, uh, Rebellion, where uh, gays, lesbians, and the drag queens uh, re rebelled against the uh, intimidation of the police. And that's what began the gay liberation movement. But it, this is also the 50th anniversary of an amazing human achievement. We landed two Americans on the moon, two as uh, NASA astronauts, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. And for me, very personally, 1969, 50 years ago, was when Star Trek was canceled. Three years of steady employment, and I was unemployed. So this, this 50 years marks uh, many, many important benchmarks in my life. <laughs>